We are going to do some awesome drugstore dupes today. I can't wait to share with you 10 that I found. Let's get into finding some really good bargains. Welcome in friends to my dupes video. I'm so glad that you joined me. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy that you're here and I hope you do decide to subscribe. And we are gonna have all kinds of fun today looking at drugstore dupes. But we usually take a look at what I'm wearing, my jewelry, different things like that. But if you wanna skip all that, just go ahead and go to the timestamp that's right here in front of you. That will take you right into the dupes and you can just go ahead and look at the meat of the video instead of all the extras. And so we ahead. start out by talking about what I have on. Today I'm wearing a red knit ribbed sweater. It's very comfortable and very soft fabric. It's got a V neck but it kind of wraps around the stomach it has the little buttons on the side right there at the waist that are so cute so the wrap around kind of gives the ruching detail across the stomach and kind of disguises the stomach a little bit and it hits just at mid hip length so it's a nice length to be able to wear as well I'm wearing Skechers pants I know that so many of you have asked me before what pants I wear and I just wear Skechers they're kind of their go walk pants and I absolutely love them I've fallen in love with them and I wear them every single day. And then I'm also wearing two necklaces that I bought separately and put together. Just paper clip link necklaces that are so popular right now. The bottom one is a double link though and it has two different textures in there that just gives it a nice look to it. And I put the two of them together, make sure those are linked for you. And then these super lightweight hollow hoop silver earrings. I have these in rose gold, in gold, and in silver in different sizes. I absolutely love these for the weight of them is so light doesn't tug on my ears at all and they just go with just about everything so I love that so all of that will be listed and linked below when we talk about our links we have a linking system on my channel a three will go up here in the corner what I do is I hold up a product and a corresponding number will come up and then you don't have to worry about remembering what the color was the name of it anything like that you just remember that you liked number three or the corresponding number Open up the description box down below, look for number three. Next to it's gonna be that product with the link, color, anything like that that you might need to know. And you can shop that way and I hope it's a little bit easier for you. All right, that's our introduction. Let's get into the bulk of the video. All right, we're gonna start out with some skincare. During prime days, I discovered this LMS Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Actually, it might've been during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I really like these. They're individual pads that are soaked with glycolic acid and they just give you a gentle peel for your skin. This is a very gentle product. I don't ever feel like I have any tingling or anything like that with this product and I'm not sure that I'm completely sold on them because I don't feel or see any real turnover in my skin. If you're somebody that has sensitive skin, you might really love these better than what I'm going to show. What I'm going to show you is from Dermalogic and these are the anti-aging facial pads as well. They're exactly the same pad. They might have a little bit more of a rough surface on the one side than the other side, but they're exactly like it. And here's my makeup coming off on them. <laughs> What I love about these though, is it's not just glycolic acid, it's la lactic acid and salicylic acid too. And if you have pores that you have problems with keeping clean or anything like that, these will help you a lot because lactic acid and salicylic acid both help keep out sebum and dirt and all of that. Glycolic acid is really good for softening. So these are wonderful. They're really good and they're like less than half of the price. But why I think I like them a little bit more than the LMS, I did feel that little tingle that you get when you know that you have an active ingredient on your skin and after I was done and it was drying, it felt very cooling on my skin. I just really like these so much better than I like the LMS, but I think it's because I like to have more of a peel when I'm talking about using glycolic acid or whatever acids I'm gonna use. I want them to do their job. So this is for somebody that has very sensitive skin. This is for somebody that really needs this peel, especially if you do Retin-A and you're finding that your skin is flaking, you might really like these a lot better. Number so. two is from Milk Makeup. This is their high Grip 
primer. And if any of you have ever had this, this is a new bottle of mine that I just bu busted out for this video because my old one was completely gone. So what is really great about this primer is that if you have problems with your primer slipping off, this primer has a tendency to hold it in place better than just your regular dimethicone or silicone primer. It is a little bit thicker. So when you put it on, you're going to feel some tackiness in the beginning. And as it dries down, you're definitely going to feel that tackiness to your skin. And that's kind of the property that's going to help it hold onto your makeup or your foundation. And that's why it's such a cult classic because it is a great primer as far as that goes. But NYX came out with the Bear With Me gripping primer. And this one, again, I think I like it better than I like the Milk Makeup because first of all, it's lighter. And as you, you can stick your finger in there and it comes right up onto your finger. You don't have to like get a glob out or anything like that. You actually are getting plenty out when you just stick your fingers in there. I don't like this delivery system as much as obviously I'd like a pump. However, the product inside of here, I feel like is a little bit better. I can feel this sink into my skin very, very quickly. It feels kind of hydrating and yet it does have that little bit of tackiness as it's drying down that's telling you that it's going to grip onto the foundation as well as the milk makeup does but it's thinner and lighter and for me at my age I really don't want too much built up underneath my foundation because that's what's going to make my foundation look and feel too heavy or get too cakey. So for me, it's just a little bit better. And I do have it on this side and then I have milk makeup on this side. I tried to do that a little bit today, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see very much where I have what, especially with the video where you're talking about just primers that are underneath. So I do like both of these, but I think I like the new NYX Bear With Me just a little bit better. For foundation, foundation today, the really good foundation that came out several years ago is from Estee Lauder and this is the Futurist Hydro Rescue Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. This has an SPF in it and if you have ever tried this, this is a very dewy foundation that makes you look very glowing and it's just so beautiful if you have dry or even normal skin and you're a mature woman. This is a gorgeous foundation for me. I've worn it. This is my second tube and I've worn it and worn it and worn it. And it's just a really great foundation as far as making your skin look really alive and not drying you out, not looking cakey. And again, it's what I have on this side of my face. But on this side of my face, I have the NYX Born to Glow foundation. Now this doesn't have an SPF in it and it doesn't have a bunch of ingredients in it like hyaluronic acid that this one boasts. But hyaluronic acid to me doesn't make or break a foundation and I never rely on an SPF in my foundation as solely my SPF for the day. So the fact that this doesn't have an SPF in it doesn't bother me at all. But the fact that this is a glowy, dewy, beautiful foundation that performs every bit as well as the Estee Lauder. Oh my goodness. I love this foundation. I was recommended this by one of you. And as soon as I put it on, I'm like, this feels just like Estee Lauder. And I tried them next to each other one day and I'm like, I gotta bring that to my gals because they're definitely going to absolutely love this and it is just beautiful on mature skin. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. It has a medium coverage that is very buildable. It gives that dewy glow to your skin. I just absolutely love it. So both of these are fantastic, but you're going to save a lot if you go with the Born to Glow foundation. All right, next is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. And this one is in Feathery, the color Feathery. What I love about this powder is it feels light as a cloud. It is so light and airy and it doesn't get cakey on my skin. It feels soft. It buffs out the pores. It sets your makeup without looking heavy at all. It's just absolutely a beautiful powder and I have recommended this before many times on my channel. But today as a dupe, I am recommending the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. Now this powder has the same properties as the Kosas. When you put your finger in here, it just feels like air. Normally most powders that you dip your finger into, like the Charlotte Tilbury, and then I've often told you that Flower Beauty is a dupe for that. Those are very buttery, very creamy powders. These are just light as air powders almost to the point of feeling that they're loose powders instead of actual pressed powders, 
but the properties in these are that they do their job without making a mature woman or anybody for that matter look too cakey when you blur out your face with this you're not going to feel like you have a lot of heavy powder on you're going to feel like you have nothing on so i do feel like this is a really good substitute it might not be a dead-on dupe for those of you that do love the kosas but boy it is really super close and this is probably one of the lightest powders lightest feeling powders that i have ever run across at the drugstore and it's just it's phenomenal next I is from rare beauty this is the always an optimist four in one mist this is supposed to be your primer your setting spray your refreshing spray all those good things in one and i do feel like it does all those but i mostly use it just for a setting spray and i love this because it does give you a glow and if you can see right there in the bottle you can see that there is a separation so you have the regular setting spray down here and then you have probably some sort of an oil so you have to shake that in order for it to go together and then you spray it and what's beautiful about it is it does give you a very pretty glow and it does exactly what I need it to, which is meld the powders with the foundation and all the makeup together so that nothing ever looks cakey. I think this is a beautiful setting spray. I have purchased this, I think twice, and I absolutely love it. However, as I was using this the last time, I remembered that I have this one from Flower Beauty. This one is the Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. And again, you can see the separation. Hopefully you'll be able to see the separation in the bottle there. So you shake it up and you use it. And so I was using this the other day and I'm like, that's an exact dupe for Rare Beauty. <laughs> so I thought, oh my goodness, it acts exactly like it. It melts your makeup together. It doesn't dry you out because there's yummy ingredients in here. There's no alcohol in either one of these, but this acts exactly like it at a fraction of the cost and helps your makeup to be glowy and dewy. And yeah, I think this is a beautiful setting spray. Every bit as nice as the Rare Beauty. And I'm so glad that I found that dupe. The next one is from Makeup by Mario. And this is a beautiful, bright, bright pink blush. And I bought this after seeing Kimberly from Pretty Over 50. She had bought it. And she was talking about, I don't have anything like that in my collection. I'm like, neither do I. I better go get that blush. So I had bought it after she did. And I had so much fun with this during this summer it's super bright but when it goes on your cheeks you don't have to obviously wear it that bright it's just so pretty and it really is a beautiful pop of color especially in the summer spring that time of year but it's just one of those that no matter when i put it on it just makes me feel happy it's really pretty but the other day, again, I was using this one from Koki, and this is their Soft Gradient Blush, and this one is called Heartthrob. I was looking at it, I was like, those are pretty darn bright. And both of them look really close to each other. Now you can tell that there's a lighter pink down here and then you get into that hotter pink up here. But if you just kind of stick up there to the hot part or to the hot pink part, excuse me, you're gonna find that that blush is so, so similar. And even the texture of the blushes are similar. And I think that probably the Koki, as you're seeing right there, it might be just a little bit brighter, but boy, putting this on your cheeks, you can't tell. And it's just one of those ones that feels exactly the same as far as formula and performs the same as far as how long it stays on your cheeks, but it might be just a tad tiny bit off on the shade. But when you can save that much money, I don't even care. And I love both of these blushes, but the Koki one, you get this huge pan and cost you a fraction of what Makeup by Mario does. The next one is another blush, but it is a cream blush. And this one is from Fenty Beauty. And this is called Cool Berry. I fell in love with this blush immediately when these came out. How long ago did these come out? Like three years ago, maybe? This is a great blush for when you're wanting a flush on your cheeks, but you don't want to have it interfere with your look at all. It can just blend in. So it's like a blush that would go along with any purple look, any plum look, any brown look. It's going to just be gorgeous with any look that you're, you, that you're doing like that. I absolutely love this formula. It's very creamy, very buttery. It's just one of those ones that you're like, oh, that is just gorgeous. But this is a pretty pricey number for just a little teeny tiny pan like that. So in comes one of my favorite products of all time, which is the e.l.f. Multi Sticks. This one is in Sparkling Bros. And so 
very different delivery system. However, on your cheeks, they are so stinking close. I can't even believe how close they are in color. As far as texture, they are really, really close. The texture of them, the formula of them, I would say that this one that is Fenty's, it feels a little bit more emollient. And I do feel like the one from e.l.f. stays around longer because it's not quite so emollient. So if you have oily skin, you really might like the e.l.f so much better because sometimes people with oily skin can't wear cream blushes because they're too oily by the end of the day. So the e.l.f. blush just really impressed me. I have so many of these colors. These little things are like $4. They may have raised the price with everything that's going on to $5, but what a great bargain. I think that the Fenty blushes are around 20 something. So such a good deal. And the fact that you can get one that just to me, it looks a little bit more saturated. It looks a little bit brighter. So you're going to be using less of this even than you have of the Fenty. So yeah, when I found that dupe, I was like, oh, definitely got to bring that to the gals too. And then this one I'm bringing as a buy this, not that type thing. Although it, they're very, very close. So these are the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wands. And I have Pink Gasm, I have Pillow Talk, and this one is Spotlight. So here is Pillow Talk. I'll just swatch these right here on the top of my hand for you so you can see them. These are gonna be a little bit hard to see, but hopefully you'll get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Just beautiful, beautiful highlighters. These are very silky feeling. They can either be built way up or they can be buffed down a little bit. And as you can see right there, the colors are just really stunning. Apply them with your fingers, apply them with a brush, with a sponge, whatever you want to. This is a great product from her line. And you guys know how much I really hate saying that because they're so expensive. They are really, really expensive. But I did find these bright light wands from Makeup Revolution. And honestly, I feel like these are every bit as good. This one right here, which I'm having a hard time getting into, is called Divine Dark Pink. I assumed immediately that that one was gonna be the dupe for the Pink Gasm, and it is. It's just every bit the same. And then the other one I have, I have one that's called Beam Pink. And the, these other ones probably won't even be close to these other colors, but you'll get to see them and you'll get to know what I'm talking about. So Beam Pink, this one is beautiful too, but it is a lot different than these other ones are as far as colors. But the fact that you can get these for such an inexpensive amount and they still act and look so much like the other ones, I just, I'm blown away by that. The last one is called Strobe Champagne. So here's all the Makeup Revolution ones right down here. And then up here is the Charlotte Tilbury. And honestly, they are so darn close. You can't even hardly tell a difference. I didn't put any highlighter on today so that I could try these on for you. So we are going to put Pink Gasm on this side right here. I'm just going to take it on this brush, on one side of the brush. I will tap it off on my hand so I don't get quite so much on my cheeks. And then I'm just gonna go across the cheek right here and blend that in and probably have to tap it with my fingers a little bit. So there's the glow from it. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna grab the pink one from Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna put that on the other clean side of that brush. Again, I'm gonna tap that off on my hand and then I'm gonna put it on this side. And oh my goodness, can you see the glow on that? It looks identical. It's so pretty. Both of these are beautiful, but I feel like for the money, uh, my goodness, nobody could ever tell that you didn't have the very expensive Charlotte Tilbury one on your cheeks. These are so good. Definitely the Makeup Revolution is every bit as good a dupe as the Charlotte Tilbury. And then next we have a lipstick from Merit. Merit came out with these lipsticks and they are just divine. They feel so comfortable on your lips. It's a satin formula that just absolutely glides across across your lips. It's a little bit more sheer than I thought it would be, but Merit's kind of an understated makeup line anyway. It's a pretty, pretty lipstick. This one is in the color Baby. They did send me this and I have loved using it. It's a beautiful lipstick. However, you know me, I'm not going to be one that's going to like paying around $30 for a lipstick. So I found this one from Maybelline. I have a million lip Maybelline lipsticks and I love every single one. This one is called Rosy Pink. Again, satin lipstick with that same formula of just feeling so very comfortable on your 
your lips. I do feel like maybe the rosy pink is just a little bit more saturated, but I actually like that a little bit more because it seems to last a little bit longer. Neither of these are gonna be lipsticks that are gonna be on all day like a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick would stick around a little longer, but they're worth it because I personally, when I get those liquid lipsticks on, they just make me feel like a dried up prune on my lips and these are so comfortable and they feel so good on your lips. So you can't really tell the difference very much, especially once you get them on, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference very much. But your pocketbook is gonna be able to tell the difference a whole bunch when you pick the Maybelline one as the dupe over the Merit. The last product that we're gonna talk about today is from Fenty Beauty. This is their Gloss Balms, and this one is in Diamond Milk. And I think I've shown this dupe on my channel before, but as I was doing my makeup this morning, I'm like, this is such a good dupe. I have to share it again. I don't think I've shared it for a couple years, but this one right here is diamond milk and it's just this clear gloss kind of has a milky look to it a little bit with the reflect of just a little bit of pink, maybe a little bit of peach, maybe a little purple thrown in there. It's just so pretty. And I will put it on top of this lipstick so you can see what it does to the lipstick. It just brightens it up and just gives it an incredible shine. And that's what it's gonna do for any lipstick that you put it over. But my very favorite lipstick of all time is the dupe for this one. And it is from Maybelline and it's their Lifter Gloss. I adore these glosses. These glosses feel so good on your lips. Now Fenty feels great on your lips too. It's not too sticky like some glosses are. I'm an 80s girl and I love my gloss. I don't care whether it's sticky or not, but these are not sticky. And I know that's a pet peeve of some people. They feel very hydrating, both of them on the lips. This one is in Pearl from them. And it is just pretty much your dead on dupe for that. It looks and performs just like it. It's gonna last approximately the same amount of time a couple hours at most depending on whether you eat or drink and you can see right there as they go over both of those lipsticks that they do the same exact thing it just amplifies and makes that pout of yours look so much more juicy when you just put it right there in the middle it was brought to my attention that there is quite a bit more in the fenty beauty ones than there are in the maybelline ones so actually it's going to almost be a wash as far as the cost goes if you bought as much that as was in the fenty one however I feel like you can buy two or three different colors of the Maybelline one for the same cost as the Fenty one. Then you have three different glosses and you only have one with the Fenty Beauty. Whatever you really wanna do, it works out. But if you're somebody that only shops drugstore, then definitely this one from Maybelline is going to be your new best friend. It's so pretty. Now that is the end of the dupes video. I appreciate you sticking around this long. And if you have stuck around this long, I have a surprise. I am doing a giveaway and I am actually doing two. I have two big, huge baskets full of products that I'm giving away to two winners from the United States. And the reason that it can only be in the States is because of shipping. There is so much here that it would cost a ton to ship it out internationally. However, I'm not leaving you out, you international beauties. I am going to give you a $100 gift certificate to wherever you would like. We will work that out after you are chosen as the winner. All you have to do to be chosen is comment down below your favorite dupe or your favorite makeup product, drugstore, just comment whatever you want to down below, but make sure you put a purple heart in there so I know that you lasted clear to the end of this video. I want to reward the people that support me the most and those are the people that get to the end of the video. Now, there will be so, so many comments on this video that I probably won't be responding to every single comment, but if I give you a little heart, you know that I was there and you know that I read your comment. Another thing is please, please, please be cautious. Do not fall for any of these scammers that are out. Don't go to any second party app. I will never contact anyone by going to a second party app. That's not the way I do things. I only announce winners verbally inside my videos. So in two weeks, I will announce the winners to this video. So just keep that in mind. You'll have to watch my other videos to hear whether or not you're announced. But there will be three winners, two in the United States and one international winners. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. And this is just a small way for me to give back to you and tell you how much I love you. I hope that you're all doing very, very well. You're happy and you're healthy. Please come back around very soon. Love you so very much. Have a great week, my friends. I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>